Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% Achievement and Trophy Guide, and this time we are getting it all in Banson Knights. Now this was developed by LCB Game Studio, published by Chorus Worldwide Games, and is usually available for £8.49, slash whatever that is in American dollary do money. Um, right, so... Who are the Bands and Knights? They are the fastest cult in the land, powered by religious fanaticism and supercharged the earth. They follow the charismatic leader Tony as the only shell upon the earth. Oh, something like that. But this is basically, if you remember, this is the same game studio that done Mothman 1966. Yes, with that really annoying, uh, randomly luck-based achievement. And they've got another one just to add to the wounds in this one too, which... We all hate, so devs, stop putting randomly generated bullcrap achievements in our systems, please. Anyway, uh, as for achievements and trophies, there's a lot sort of miscellaneous ones, but we do and we will be using the save feature quite a lot in order to minimize playthroughs. Um, but that's all there is to it. So for the majority, like 99% of the achievements, we're looking at you know, 25 to 30 minutes, and then the luck-based card game will and potentially take a little bit longer. So for now, what we'll do is go to message speed in the settings and turn that one all the way up so we can just nip straight through, and we will obviously start a new game. Um, oh, I forgot to say, so let's do it. Oh, yeah. Right, so episode one start again. We're just going to press the A button slash cross button in order to just smash through a lot of the dialogue. Sometimes there's a couple of, uh, like, mini-games and stuff like that, but they're all generally very easy. So, of course, just, uh, you know, keep following what I'm doing and saying, and it's all good. Now, uh, first thing, we're going to grab the keys. Now, you can actually keep spamming the dialogue, because um, it doesn't actually choose... You, don't, you won't accidentally choose anything, because you actually need to press down on the D-pad in order to start choosing some stuff. So, do not worry about that. So, what we're going to do first is talk to Tony. Tony! Hey, Spaghetti Tony! And next, we are going to turn on the radio. Hey, Spaghetti on the radio! Ah, I just lost that one. Right, so, once you've turned on the radio, we're going to turn the dial to the left. So, top option, dial to the left. And then, we are going to change the station. So, second option, change the station. And then, we're going to turn the dial to the left again. And then to the left again. So turn dial to the left. My favorite song, Earls. I don't know. But I got one somewhere. Probably something to do with the end of Shakira. Uh, right, so what we're going to do first is get close to the dartboard. And this time it doesn't actually matter. We can just take aim and you can aim anywhere you want. Uh, so we'll just throw the dart, very much like going for a pee at three in the morning after a few drinks, you've missed the middle completely. Uh, we're going to order a beer after we've done this one, <laughs> and we're going to, I don't know if we're supposed to be like a hero or just a random trucker who, you know, come and saves the day or something. We look more like Tony Randall, um, the random trucker who's coming to save the day. But anyway, that's the first uh, chapter done again. They're obviously very short chapters. We'll be getting the majority of the achievements done in 25 minutes or so. So first, we're going to view the holy cards. And then we are going to view the drawing. Uh, wow. Made by me, age 34. Uh, so just keep spamming through the dialogue, of course. And then next up... We are then going to pick Select Holy Card. So, select the holiest of cards, and then we're going to go for Saint Cajun Chicken. Uh, no, so select Holy Card, and then we are going to select, uh, assign the evidence, sorry, so assign the evidence to Saint Cajun Chicken, and then make sure to choose Copy of Receipt as well. And there we go, that one is good. We'll select the next Holy Card, and this time we're going to select Right, so go to Mary, and doer of knots, right here, and assign the evidence to her. And permission to circulate after curfew. There we go, and then with that one done, we can actually just go ahead and exit. So we're all good, since we've got the undoer of knots. And we get the achievement there called Sherlock! Exclamation mark. Oh, 
Okay, so this is where we're going to make our first save. So before heading in to this next chapter, press the start button, go to save, and put your save in your very first slotness. And then we can continue. So for the next choice, make sure to choose the second option as quick as you can called break. So as soon as we come up here, choose the second option now, because the time uh, we did get timed on that one. So choose break, and we hit the brakes just in time. If you didn't manage to do it just in time, just go ahead, reload your last save, and quickly nip through that one. Um, otherwise, we can we can just carry on. Nice teeth, bro. <laughs> you got the beef in your teeth. Right, so we also have to be careful smashing the dialogue options here. Just take your time for a minute. Um, and then when we get to this point, we are now just going to head and make another save. So, again, if you I accidentally just cracked over the first time uh, and wasn't able to save it, so I just quickly reloaded the save, got back to this point. Now, once you've made a save in the second save slot, now we can go ahead and exercise road. It's basically like a mini game, this one. So what we need to do first then is uh, move left or right. So obviously on top of the screen there, you can see where the next cars are going to come down. Um, so obviously we need to not crash at all for 30 seconds. So just move left or right um, with whatever particular way that the cars are coming down from the top. So once that achievement has unlocked, eventually, we will now reload our previous save. So go uh, press start, reload, and go to save slot one, or whatever it was. And this time we're going to fail this mini game. So luckily it's a lot easier. So whatever you see him coming down, just move straight in the way and die. Oh, it's pretty dead. No, now we're on fire. No. You're Tony Randall. Red Berkeley's the name. So we can go ahead and click retry. So retry, and then this time we're going to choose you're not ready to be in front of the Holy Cross. Which, I mean, hey, I got a Jeebus beard. I'm, I, I think I'm ready. Anyway, that will uh, move the story along, and we can abandon a road exorcism. Uh, plus get to the next chapter. And once again, we are going to save the game again. So this time we are going to save it in slot two. Oh my god, I'm French now! Une, deux, trois. Ah! Anyway, moving on. French has nothing to do with this game, I don't think. So, we're going to be re reloading the save a couple of times here. So, let's just crack on here with Red Barkley, the trucker. And so, first things first, we're going to go left of the bar. So, top option, go to the left of the bar, then get close to the dartboard. Now, what we need to do is play darts. Now, what you're going to see on the back of your hand is, like, stripes. Once they turn into, like, little black rectangles, choose the three dots option. And that'll get you a bullseye. So, as soon as you see it go into black triangles, or black rectangles on the back of your hand, choose the three dots option, and you'll... Uh, automatically hit a bullseye every time. So we're just going to go ahead and do this another four times. So get close to the dartboard, play darts, wait until the black rectangles show up at the back of your hand, and then click the three darts option. And you're just going to keep doing this until we die an unfortunate death because somebody got pissed off that we're so good. In fact, do you think this is what all the uh, dart pros feel like now? Like, 17-year-old Luke Littler comes onto the stage, reaches three finals in a row. 
Yeah, did lose too. Of course, he just lost to Michael Van Geren tonight. But um, do you think that's what all the old boys feel like? Like, God damn it! Why are you so good? By the way, Luke Littler is fantastico. Right, so once we've reloaded our second save, anyway, we're going to go to the bar this time. So straight to the bar, where we're going to see Sinbad the Pirate, and we're going to order a beer. And you're going to keep ordering a beer until we basically cannot anymore. Should be seven will be the max. And if it's me, because I'm a terrible drinker, it's going to be two, and then I crap my pants. Yes, I'm not a very good drunk. Or drinker. Right, now we are going to go back. And this time we're going to go to the left of the bar again. And then we are going to get close to the dartboard, play darts. And we're going to do the same thing. Black rectangles on the back of the hand, three dots, another achievement unlocks. And then once the achievement unlocks there, one too many, we will go to load. We will reload save number two again. And then this time, once we get here, we are going to da, 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 uh, go to the left of the bar. And this time we're going to sit with the Banson Knights themselves. Now, uh, what we are actually going to do now is play the Circus Solitaire. But we're not actually going to play it. We've, um, we're basically just going to exit. But this will now be unlocked in the main menu, and we will be able to play this later. This is the randomly generated achievement, which is even more bigger bullcrap than the Mothman 1966 one. We hate randomly generated achievements, and I'm going to tell you even more why it's even more bullcrap a little later on. So once you've exited, we can go back and we can um, go ahead and just go back again. Sorry, yep, we're all good. And then we're going to go to the bar. And then we're going to ask if everything is all right with Sinbad the Sailor there. And then we are going to go ahead and ask about the writing course. Then ask about the character circles. And then we're going to ask what a non collinear point is. Col col collinear? Collinear? Collinear point is. Yeah. 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 We'll do. Now we are going to listen to Kev Kev's stories, listen and order a beer. Uh, it gets a bit awkward now. Sorry, Sinbad, we're, uh, I, don't, I don't want to. After that, we can now go back. We can exit out of this area. So, for this next option, we don't actually have to do anything, we can just exit. And there we are, that last trap that was very nice and straight dialogue-y. Sometimes it's nice to just to be able to relax. <laughs> right, on to episode VI. Or VI for short. Right, so the first thing we're going to do then is just choose the top option, which is dot, dot, dot. There we go, so a bit of dot, dot, dot. And then we're going to dot, dot, dot. Yeah, and then we're going to go into another mini game, but this time we're just going to fail it megaly. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. So, 
Uh, we can steer right, steer left, wherever we're going, but we are going to fail this one until our buns go up in flames, huns. Right, we will retry. Because retry is friend, just friend. And then this time we're going to refuse to hijack the truck. The Red Barkley doesn't want anything to do with that. So refuse it, and that's going to get us another two achievements anyway. So another bit of important dialogue to come up. We have to make sure to choose Ask Who He Is, which is going to be the top option. It's the wine. Uh, ask Who He Is. There we go. And then we are going to choose Ask Why They've Got Him Trapped. So the top option again. So once we've died and miraculously come back to life, we will retry. And then this time we'll choose the bottom option, which is dot, dot, dot. Okay, time to make another save before heading on with VII. Uh, so again, make a save. We're going to save it in uh, save slot 3. 3. 3. 3. And we entered the bar with a knot in your stomach and a pump to the bum. We're going to go to the left of the bar. We are going to sit with the Banson Knights. This time we are going to talk. And we're going to talk to Vincenzo. Vincent Aroni. Vinicius Jr. And uh, once you've talked to him, we can go back. We're going to go to the emergency exit, and we're going to die. All right, so let's retry again. Let's not die. I prefer not to die. So we're going to go back rather than go outside, of course. <clears throat> and then we're going to uh, go back again. And then we're going to go to the right of the bar. Ooh. Go to Tony's office. And a couple of goons there. So we obviously ain't getting in there. So we're going to go back. We are going to go to the bar. We are going to listen to Kevin's stories. And you need to basically just listen to all three. It's, it's very interesting from a sailor's point of view. Listen to this story, mate. I don't know who done those Taylor Swift AI pi pictures. It wasn't me. All right, Sinbad, chill out, bruv. Right, so we're going to now ask about the goons outside Tony's office. And we are going to enter. Now, this is actually a very quick mini game that we need to do. So basically, we're going to be timed. But you have to basically go through each drawer and make sure to close it. So you need to open it. We need to find three pieces of evidence. You need to open it and make sure to close it. If you don't close any of the drawers, you'll die in the end. So I'll show you what I mean now as we uh, enter. But basically, you're going to go to next compartment and then open, close. If you hear a noise, that means that you found some evidence. We only need to find three and then we can exit. So I'll show you what I mean now. So we'll enter and we'll look at the desk. So next compartment, uh, so open and then close it. Next compartment, open, close it. Then next compartment, open and close. So just keep doing this until you find three different bits of evidence, and then we can exit.
So that's it. Once you've got that last one, exit and exit twice, and you should be good to go again. Make sure to, um, if you didn't close any of them, you will have obviously been figured out and died, and you have to do it again. So after this, we can just get out of here. Right, so next up, we're going to make another save. So save slot number four this time. Oh, isn't it? It feels so good to be number four. It'd rather be number four than number two. Right then, so we're going into a random lockpick minigame. So we're going to try and lockpick the trunks. It's not too difficult, um, but basically we're going to go for the top on there, Monique's Sierra. Um, but again, it's random from where it is, so I'll tell you what I what I found was easier rather than trying to do different, you know, each different one. So I would move the left lockpick um, all the way up or all the way down, and then with the right lockpick, I would go all the way up and all the way down. If you don't manage to find the uh, combination, then I would move the left lockpick up or down once, and then with the right lockpick, go up and down all the way, and do it like that if you are catching my drift. So rather than getting lost and don't know where you are, because again, it's all random and it's a bit of a pain, um, but that's what I do then. So that's what I do. If, the, if, if it's not in that one, then with the left lockpick, I would go up, and then go through the next one. Once you find the right combination, your uh, the lock will um, flash red right there. And then once you have gone into the truck, we can read the second book. So book two. Book two is all about the, the, the guard poo. And once you've done this, then we've... Um, oh, it's, it's something covered in blood. Plus, we also get the um, reading achievement right there. So... Now we're going to choose mark coordinates on the map for digging. We are going to choose um, the uh, first point, so mark first point. Then we're going to choose mark first coordinate. And we're going to uh, go to next. And we're going to select C. There it was, sorry. So then mark second coordinate. Then we're going to select two. Then we're going to go back. And then we're going to go mark second point. We will mark the first coordinate. And we're going to go next, 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 until we find H. So there it is. So select H. Then mark second coordinate, which is going to be select six. So select six. There it is. And then we'll go to Cooper's coordinates. C2H6. Job done. There he is. He's looking at the end of uh, Liverpool's, every Liverpool's title dream now, since Jurgen Klopp has unfortunately passed away. Or that's what it would seem like, since every Liverpool fan has cried their absolute eyes out at it. Um, I'm just joking. It's kind of funny. So once you've done that anyway, we will... Oof, what's happening here? God damn. So, uh, choose the second option here. Tupac, uh, Tupac Amu, uh, Amaru. Sorry. Tupac Shakur. He's back from the grave, baby. Okay, so first thing we're going to do here is choose toss the mic. And we are getting timed as well, so you need to toss the mic out of the driver's window. This will get us caught, and then we are going to be moided, of course. And then we're going to retry. Now, this time, in order to uh, successfully get through this one, you need to choose the passenger window. And then when the two guards are not looking, which you can see on screen, so roll down the passenger's window and then toss the mic when the two guys are not looking out of the passenger's window. So I've done it just about right there. Um, if they catch you, of course, they kill you. You'll just have to do it uh, quickly through again. Uh, but once you have got through that one, we are now going to choose Charge at the Cross. So the next dialogue option is going to be Charge at the Cross. So once that's done, then we are now going to reload the save again. Red Barkley seems happy with that one. So load up save four again. Now, because we have gone through some of the same dialogue before, now we can actually press the right bumper in and just hold the right bumper in order to just nip straight through it in just a bit anyway. 
Now, this part, again, is actually a pain. So this time, we're going to lockpick the trunks, but we're going to do it for all three of the cars, which, again, is just a pain. So remember what I said last time then. What I do is move the left. I put the left lockpick either all the way up or all the way down. The right lockpick, then, I would go up and down. And then if that's not the combination, move the left pick up once or down once and just keep going through basically all combinations until you find all three. So once that bad boy ting has flashed, we're going to open the trunk. This time we are going to read book one and book two. So go through all of book one and all of book two. This time we ain't coordinating or marking a ting. So we're just going to lockpick the trunk and go to Vincent Sierra. Once you have done that again, um, we're going to open trunk, but there'll be nothing of anything in there, which is not nice. And of course, finally, we are going to lock pink, lock pink, lock pick Lucas Sierra. Ah, Lucas, my son's name. Ah, he's named like his name. And there we go then. Finally, once we have got that one, we, we, we should now get the achievement there for Sleuth for finding five different pieces of evidence. So once this is done, we'll go to the graveyard itself. You know, get all spooked out and stuff. It's, it's Red Berkeley. Oh, no. Right, so a few things we're going to do here. Select the holy card first, and it's going to be Our Lady of Health. Assign the evidence to her. And choose Bottle of Pills. Now, this is basically what the health secretary is in Britain. Just grab some pills, job done. Right, go to select right to Father Mario Panda. Assign the evidence and choose Vincenzo's bullet. Pan Pancakeo, whatever his name is. Then select right and go to St. Cajun Chicken. Assign the evidence, go to more and choose property deed. Once you've done this, stay on St. Cajun Chicken. Go to assign evidence, more and then the tax declaration. So once that's done, we're going to select right and then right again. We're just going to go to Saint Empdudididididis, assign the evidence, go to more and choose picture. Saint Empty Had. <laughs> right, and that one will be done. So we can then go back and that should get you the achievement there for Holmes. Yo, what's up, Holmes? Sherlock Holmes. Oh no, Red Barkley is sad. Right, so this time we'll, we are able to press the right bumper button or the R1 button in order to get straight through the dialogue this time because we've done this scene before. Make sure to choose Tupac Amaru, of course. 
And um, we're going to do the same thing here. So roll down the passenger window, toss the mic when the two guards are not looking. And once again, we're going to charge at the cross. So charge at Le Cross, Le Cross Fit. And this time, we're going to do a little mini game. So first of all, we're not going to do anything. We're going to die completely still. Ah, uh, no, he stabbed me in the butt. That'll do. Right, this time, we are, of course, going to win this uh, mini game. I love the way he act he looks when he's died as well. Uh, so, when you kick, you'll basically kick the each guard in each section. So wait until the one guard comes up to you and then choose kick to go the other way. Kick and then kick. But you've got to wait until the guards are actually close to you so you can actually uh, feel it that you, or you can kill them and then escape with Lou. So, Tony here seems to have the lust for me, so we're just going to kick him square in the eyeballs. So, give him a kick, and then it's another tiny little mini game. Uh, what we need to do is choose jump when the screen turns uh, light blue for basically water. But it goes by very quickly, so you do have to be quick. If you keep failing, uh, I only failed twice here, but I'll, I'll keep it in. But uh, you can just go ahead and keep retrying the same bit until you get there. But it's got to be light blue. Not that blue. <laughs> and there we go. That is the end of the main game, Bounce and Knights. Now comes the crappiest, most horriblest, kind of stupidest, randomly generated... Uh, stuff. Devs, you should just, I know you work your ass off on these games, I and I appreciate you. Stop putting randomly generated stuff in the games, though. So, we're going to go down across Solitaire. Now, I tried to sort of have a look online, see if there's any way you can do this best, but it was all explained rather crappingly. So, I'm just going to tell you how to play it. So, first, you turn over the Doom card. That's basically your opponent. Um, if he has more than you, like he does here, and I've got, say, an ace or something... Um, then I can put that card down. When I say confirm miracle, um, that basically... So basically, you have to get a tie. You, you, This is where the uh, crappiness and randomness comes into it. So, obviously, if you turn over the Doom card and you have more points than him, or a higher card than him, your score will automatically go over to the right. You obviously win that round, but you need to get a 48 total in order to win. If he's got more than you, as you can see here, the devil is that's your opponent, 13, and I've got 5. As long as you've got um, something in your cards, uh, which will equate to 13, again, you have to find a card which is going for a draw. If you've managed to get a card which is going for a draw, so if you can choose Look for a Miracle, which is basically your cards. Once you've got a draw, then you can confirm the Miracle, and it'll say a tie, and this is where the randomness comes into it again. So not only do you have to hopefully that you've got more than your opponent, or he, if he has more than you, you've hopefully randomly got a card to put it into a tie. You've then got to hope that when you do put it into a tie, that you then are able to win that round. So there's three points of randomly generated bullcrap, and it's bullcrap. But anyway, um, that's it. So hopefully you get that achievement quite quickly. But thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the game and the guide as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Give me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Big love.